I'm here thanking the Elishas, including the Kanyawanga old boys, for that they have done for me. And these are the requirements. And uh, I'm here thanking the deputy principal for what he has done. And I'm now proud of what he has done. And my wish is that I will, I want to be a lawyer in the future. So now that I'm going to go to the school, 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 I'm going to go to the school. To no kuna ni mama, an o kane kadi no, niki sao se di, koka lori kaka ni mama nyu fees ma mundo wakonye koto no tama yodo. O sebe do kitoa kodi temo, marjun kodi nyethendo ma o konyalo. Watchmar o chieng o kongo, no chope itoa, kanya fini no chaku wotka amigori, koko konye kodi fair kende kodi dream pepe chiel, mundo bio o man kaka konyalo donje skundini. So this young man uh, reported in, in school a few days ago with only a ream of uh, uh, photocopying papers. As alumni, we saw, we saw the need and we chipped in. So today we are here, though it's half term, that's why you can see he's not in full school uniform, but uh, everything has been cared for by the alumni to hand him over to the school officially. So as you can see, all the requirements, the, the stationary, the personal effects, everything has been put by the alumni and they're all here. This boy will be the light of the family because the, his, his princess has, none has, has completed high school. So we hope he, he will complete high school up to tertiary level and even up to the university level, at least to bring, bring light, bring hope, and bring some sense of uh, uh, good life to his family. From the family background, he is the fourth born in the family of four. Is the only one who has made an attempt to join the secondary school in the family. There are two boys, two girls. The girls got married once they were through with primary, and now the elder boy is a Jokali man in the village, and the boy is here trying to pursue his education. The boy told me he would wish to be a chief magistrate or a lawyer in future. So I would wish anybody who can support him to achieve his dream to come forward. Old Boys Association who have again today come to help a very needy student. Now this is a student who came from Bondonyeronge. He had reported to school without anything. He carried only one ream of papers and he will begin active learning on Monday when students resume from half term. They have today bought him the uniforms and paid the first term's fee for him. And uh, this is not the first time, this is not the first time that our alumni, they are doing that. Uh, over the years, actually every year, they have been sponsoring students to the tune of one million shillings uh, through bursaries. The needy and uh, bright students have been benefiting from the activities of our alumni. And I really want to thank God because uh, we can have such kinds of big-hearted people around us who are 
coming back to the school where they were, their alma mater, mm -hmm. and very concerned about the welfare, the well-being of the students in the school. So in regard to 100% transition, uh, we are in the process of doing mop-up across the county, identifying a few of the learners who sat for KCP and may not have found their way to high school. And I want to take this opportunity to most sincerely thank the Alumni Association of Kanyawanga Boys High School for having identified this young man who also sat his exam and got over 340 marks and has been out. And they brought him on board and today he has been uh, admitted at Kanyawanga High School to study the education life. And my appeal to many other old boys and other well-wishers is that this is the way to go because the government has done much and whatever government has not been able to do we want to encourage other well-wishers to join hands and the Kanyawanga team is a good example that other associations need to borrow from so that we can be able to make a contribution and give back to society.